What's up, guys? Uh, number one is closing in on 100 days. He is done, but trying to block this number two guy. They don't. They do not like each other at all. But uh, I spawned number two like three or four times this week, so only fitting. I finally got number one again. Um, had a troop health statue out because time is tight for me tonight. But got him on my first try with that, and it's totally possible with no. Um, offensive guardians so i cleared this rocket on the left i've seen other people hit bases similar to this where they clear the shock launcher on the right i find that clearing two defenses with a significant amount of ice leaves me with just not enough gb to do anything even with this tri boost i find i'm a lot more effective when i just give myself extra um, gb to work with during the attack and more defenses to have to deal with so be careful on the range of this laser it is out of range of a lot of um the front of the beach you can clear both of the rockets um i wanted this flamethrower down before i reflared the shock launcher actually helped me out kept me out of range long enough to reflare over and since my troops were so spread i decided to smoke in to let them group up this lets me save my GBE on critters and shocks until all of my troops are there and ready to start shooting so I can work a bit more efficiently. Um, when the smoke starts to clear, throw a critter box to distract that laser and the shock launcher. I'm going to be alternating shocks and critters to try to distract that laser as long as possible. If it's focusing on critters, you don't have to shock it at all because it won't hit your troops. Um, but with either shocks or critters, if you use all, like, one of them to try to distract then the cost will go up so much that it won't be effective for a while this shock on the mortar and laser is possible and i missed it every single time during this attack but luckily for me it ended up not being a huge deal um with the machine gun damage boost i wanted to cryobomb these machine guns as much as i possibly can because when they're cryobombed they don't really like destroy all your troops but when they are alive they melt uh, Rifleman, they just annihilate Zookas in one hit, um, so I wanted that gone. I threw one more shock at the end on this laser. I wanted it down. I was trying to get it before it took even a single shot. I think it got one shot off, um, but my troops are spread out enough that it didn't really matter. Around lasers, I do kind of like spreading out when it's possible because that mitigates the potential impact if um, your troops get hit once or twice. So I wanted that flamethrower down before I started universal remoting because I didn't want Sparky to target that. Um, and I was still kind of stressed that it would target the sniper, that she would target the sniper, but she hit the boom cannon. Then I waited till that sniper was down just to be safe because I knew after that she would target the mortar and I want the splash damage down as much as possible. I was hoping that boom cannon would take out a bit more than it did, but it all worked out. Um, I had enough for one more. I think I had like 70 GVE when I turned the corner here, so... Got the last splash damage defense, and that's all the base had to offer through an artillery to finish off the mortar. Um, and your passive critters can out outrace the uh, single shot defenses at this point, so that's all you have to do to finish this base. Hope you guys enjoy this replay. Um, I know in like an hour the protos are going to change, so shock blasters will probably be back, and that might even make this layout easier, so... I'll catch you next time. Until then, my name is Ryan. This is the PSC Life. Happy booming.